Not much. How are you? All right. <clears throat> so, um, which one uh, were you looking for? Um. So your statement. Uh, it's it's the one we're on right now. Nothing can be or ever has been real or true till it's been thought or of in a conscious thought or whatever. Right. Right. All right. Ex- explain your point so I can properly analyze. My point is that there is nothing that exists in reality that hasn't first been um, uh, thought up in a human being's conscious mind and nothing ever could truly exist before it was um, before it was thought of in a mind um, it can't be actualized into reality okay so um, as a are you religious no I'm not no so you are what where where do you stand on religion? Uh, I stand uh agnostic closer to atheist, but you know. All right, so is it is it fair to say that we we uh, for this debate we can say that evolution occurred for humans to be on earth. Oh, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, absolutely. Fair to say that? Okay. Yeah, yeah. So how before do you count a cell as I mean, how would you say the start of life occurred? Assuming evolution and let's go with Big Bang Theory happened, how do you explain that if nothing can exist before conscious thought? Well, the way I explain it is that it doesn't exist until the thought of it um, occurs. Right. So are you just explaining like trees weren't real until someone saw a tree and said, that's a tree. Is that what you're you're trying to say? It's sort of a, like a, um, like if you close your eyes, is everything still there type of thing? Right. Like if a tree fell in the forest and no one here, it didn't. It's sort of a quantum physics thing. I don't know if you know anything about that, but when so when things are observed, they change. Um, Right. Right. Yeah. I I get, I get the point. So that's sort of my point to it. I, I guess it, it's unfair to say that if you're not a creationist, that nothing existed before we had thought it existed. Well, there's no way to prove it, though. That's the thing. Yeah. But there's also no way to prove that nothing did exist. True. True. You can't prove either way. But right. I definitely can prove that once we did think of it in our conscious mind then it was actualized into reality then how then who first acknowledged human life who first acknowledged human life well it would obviously have to be a human the first humans right right so the first humans had to evolve into a human which would happen before they could consciously say they were a human correct right so they were before they consciously said they were there but there's no way to prove that they were but as long as we're following this evolutionary timeline that we had set the reason you cannot prove it is because there's so much debate over creationism or evolution so i think it's fair to say that when looking i am not a creationist i'm right i would not there's any debate i'm certain that we evolved um right you know. And to say that, it's unfair to then in turn say we can't prove that there was nothing before we said something. I think the only, way, the only way that you can say that nothing was there until we said it was there is if you believe in creationism. Because in that sense, you'd say, well, it had to have been thought of by someone, whether it be God or human, before it existed. I don't think so, honestly. I don't. I don't think it has to be that way because... Let me let me put it this way. I don't think that means it wasn't there before. What? I don't think it's hard to explain. I, I, I know. I get the point. I I mean I understand the. Point. You get the point. It's kind of hard to explain what I'm thinking. It's not that it wasn't really there before we thought of it in our conscious mind, and then it just popped up when we did right. into reality. It's that whether it's there or not. It can't be proven true until it's first thought of in our minds. If you you can't make anything, nothing can be created out of thin air before a thought right. creates it first, right? 
in order to have something, a thought has to create it first. Otherwise, it's not really there, and it never could be. I don't think it's fair to say that it never could be, because before we had the thought of gravity, it was still there. But was it? Right, and I, that's, I suppose that's what the debate is about. That's, that's the debate. That's, the, that's kind of the point, is that, yes, gravity existed as a, as a rule of nature, but law of nature actually there until we said it was there. Is the... Was it there until we thought of it in that way? Until we realized what it was? We don't know because... Right. It's like a like... debate over time. Like, does time really exist? Or is it just no, something no. that we define? It's just something that we made up. Right. But <laughs> until you think of it, it can't be realized. Right. You know, it just can't be. You can say it was there beforehand, but there's no way to prove it. It's just like, Absolutely. like I said, the quantum physics type of thing. When something is uh, observed or measured, it can change its properties. Right, yeah. An inherently proven fact in science that things can change their properties based on whether they're being observed or not. So the only way that something can really be true um, is that it's first been thought of in a, in a mind and then actualized into reality because before it's thought of and then observed or measured, it, it can't be proven to be true. Right. But it, it can't be proven to be true, but it's unfair to say that it wasn't there. Like it wasn't real before it can be proven. Well, it, it's it, not that it, again, not that it wasn't there. It might've very well been there, but there's no way to know whether it was the same thing that we are now proven observing, true. which I, exactly. I mean, just like gra- right, right, just like gra- gravity is an unseen force that's based on mass, right? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. All things are drawn into mass, and the way Einstein described it is because everything's on a sheet, basically and, of space time, and because things that are heavy hold the sheet down more, other objects are drawn into right, them, yeah. I- which makes perfect sense. It makes sense that way. But that doesn't necessarily, it's still a theory. Right, it's still, well, I mean, technically scientific theory is something that has evidence to back it up, but. Right. No, it makes perfect sense, and I would never argue against it, because there's no way I have a better idea of what it is. Right, absolutely. But, but until we thought of that construct of gravity the way we know it now, absolutely. Yeah. there's no way of telling whether or not it acted that same way prior to that. Yeah, and I, I, I agree upon that point, which I, I suppose I agree with half of your statement and nothing can be or ever has been true until it right. has been thought of. But I disagree in the sense that nothing can be or ever has been real because I think okay. real and true are so polar opposite in this debate where you cannot define them together. Well, you're seeing real as, as if it, it was there. It was there, right. It's not the way we know it. Right, exactly, which I, so, I, I okay. suppose to be turned. but I could see that. That makes sense. I mean, I could change the wording on that a little bit. Right. More or less, yeah, the, the true part is what's important to me because it's it's just like the um, the double slit experiment, you know? Yeah, the, yeah, yeah, I'm familiar. They, they uh, Things just change the way they act. In, in right. That, on that scale, that means anything could be happening. You know, when you turn the lights out, <laughs> is everything really how it was we don't know right absolutely yeah i i i, I can come upon agreement on that terms as okay a, all right fair all right well uh, yeah i mean that was the basis of it that's just it's just a thought i had if you don't think of something first right there's no way to it's true absolutely yep i you know? i can come upon that awesome okay all right man yeah great talking to you good talking to you i'll see you later see you later